Hi everybody, I'm Eve Costarelli and welcome to Flamenco Monday on the Native Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I thought I would start today with just a quick explanation, um, a little bit about flamenco, because flamenco is not just the dance style, it has a history. And when you learn the steps, you have to remember that this dance was created by people who were forced out of their homes in India and then traveled across the continent through Northern Africa before they crossed the Straits of Gibraltar into Spain, into Southern Spain called Andalusia. And when they arrived there, they brought with them the sounds, the flavors, the colors of all of their journey. And when they arrived in Spain, these people who came to be known as the gypsies intermingled with the people who were already living there, who are the Spanish people there were the Moors who were in control of Spain at the time, that's the Arabs. There were Sephardic Jews, Jews of the Iberian Peninsula. And through years of good times and years of bad times, they integrated with these people and took from them more flavors, more tastes, more colors. And from that is where flamenco was born. So this is a dance that is very rooted in the ground. You have to be connected to the earth and be right there in the moment so that you can give your full expression and your full attention to the moment. So thank you so much once again. I'm Eve Costarelli, a little bit about flamenco. Let's get started. Everybody standing up nice and tall, arms by your sides. Just take a moment to notice your breathing. So breathe in. Feel grounded to the earth. Let your feet grow down from your hips. Like you're just sinking into the earth and it's gonna hold you there. Be strong and grounded. Your belly is lifting like you have a zipper and you're trying to get into the jeans that are just a little too tight for you. Have your shoulders roll down and back and resting in your shoulders down your back, sorry. Have your chin slightly tucked in so that it's not causing you to look up to the sky. You're looking down forward, forward and then down. So your eyes are hooded, arms by your sides. Take a breath in, breathe in, arms up. Crisscross, arms down. Again, breathe in up. And down. Once more, breathe in up. But just stay up there. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Chin in, belly up. Feet grounded. Good. Stay up here and bring them down right through the center of your body. The wrists are crossed. And down. Here we go. Gather in. Push it down. Gather in, breathe in. Push it down, breathe in. Push it down, last time to the front. Push it down to the right. Pull it in, push it down to the left. Pull it in, push it down. Breathe into the right, breathe out down. Breathe into the left. Out and down to the center. Breathe in up to the top. Breathe out, pull it down. Breathe in, pull the energy up. Interlace your fingers, stretch your arms way up. Look at your hands. Release as they float down by your side. Beautiful shoulders around. Other way. Look right, turn your palms forward, open your chest and stretch. Close your arms down, bring your head forward. Breathe in, look left. Open your 
chest wide, open your palms, like you're gonna fall back into a pile of leaves or snow or into the water. Breathe out, back down. Breathe into the right again. Breathe out to the center. Breathe into the left. Last time, good job. Let's spread our legs open, arms out wide. Right hand towards left foot and up. We're just gonna do that a few times to the same side. Down and up, we're gonna breathe in and then breathe out as you go down. Breathe in, up. Again, four more. Two more. We're gonna switch to the other side. Breathe in up. Twist and down. Lift that other arm up towards the ceiling. Back up. We do eight of them. Two, three. Always come back up to the T-shape. Breathe in up when you're going up. Breathe out when you go down. Two more. Okay, we're gonna go back to the other side and just hold there for a moment. Hang down and up. Other side, down, hold. Two, three, four. Back, up again, turn down and hold. One, two, three, four, and up and switch. Two, three, four, switch. We're gonna do a little bit longer hold now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, breathe out, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Last time, both sides. Hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up, and switch. Last time. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job, hands on hips. We're just gonna make some circles. So we'll go round and around. Round and round. Last time, go the other way. Keep your knees soft. You gotta be a little bent so that you're not gonna hurt or stretch out your knees too much. Yeah, around. Good job, everybody. Last time, come to the front. Good. Now we're gonna have our arms out wide and we're gonna breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Out. One more on both sides. Breathe in, breathe out when you twist. Breathe into the center. And breathe out. Awesome. Feet together. Breathe in. Stretch up. Look at your hands. Crisscross beautifully. Float them down to the ground, or to your side, sorry. Beautiful. Wonder, I'm gonna turn that off so we can talk a little bit about some of the um, movement steps that we're gonna do for today's class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by standing up tall. We'll put our hands on our hips, and there, my hands are like this, and I put my hands like this. That's one way I'm holding, it's like I'm holding my waist. You could also curl your fingers in and put the top part of your hand, not here, not the part closer to the tips of your finger, but the part before the big knuckle, that goes right into your side. It's kind of like you're mad, right? And you stick them right in there. And look at the beautiful shape. My shoulders are down, my elbows are even, my hands are strong, they're not drooping, right? That's a beautiful, strong shape that you can hold in flamenco. So what we're doing here is let's we're just gonna put our let's do the part where our thumbs are in back like we're holding our hips and we're just gonna swing them side to side hip 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 
It's like I'm drawing a smiley shape. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. So it's really just my hips. My knees are working a little bit, but it's really just part of my body. And so the rest of my body isn't really being affected by the motion of my hips, right? That's a very important motion in flamenco. We either do it sideways, and sometimes we do it forward and back. So if I put my foot forward, I'm going to smile, smile as I come back. Step, smile the hips, smile the hips back. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me. Step, my hips are going, my hips come back. Hip, hip. So once the foot lands, the hip activates because I'm going there and then I'm coming back. Then the foot comes back. It's kind of step, hip, hip together. They kind of happen together, but they kind of happen slightly apart so that there's a little bit of a feeling of elasticity in the, in the motion rather than just flim, 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 flim. Okay? All right, so hands on hips, knees are slightly bent. Step front, hip, and hip, good. Step front, hip, and hip, that's two, and three, mm -mm, and four, mm -mm, four more goes uno, mm -mm, back, dos, back, together, three, Make it nice and smooth. And four, now we'll add an arm. We'll grab hand and back. Hip, mm, mm. don't forget your hip. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. videos the hands so if you feel that's confusing for you please look back on some of the other videos and we'll have worked on these hands in many of the different stages so now we're going to add one different thing what we've done before also is when our hands are up we do an open arm and it comes back up hands work hands come in so if I add that foot now hand and back Hand and back. Three and four. Four more. It goes one, two, three. Last one, four. And now we go lift up. Pull it down, lift up and down and up. We've been doing that in the warm up. Up and down, four more. Mm -mm. Dos, mm -mm. tres, mm -mm. y cuatro. Mm. Awesome. So we've done that a little bit. We've added those things. Um, oh, I just wanted to add that hip thing. And now we're gonna add one more thing and then we're gonna try it with some music. So the other thing is what we've been doing is when our hands are by our side, we've been going, we're gonna do to the count of four in this instant. Hand, 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 and step switch, hand, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
and switch goes one, two, and here's that hip again, right? Four, I'm still making that, now I'm doing smile, 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 switch, smile, 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 switch, smile, I give you a smile, two, <laughs> three, four, and switch, out. dos, tres, y cuatro, pop, grab, jump, clap, one, two, three, four, grab whatever you have, a pair of pants, skirt, Dress, stockings, just grab a hold and jump back a little bit. It's a little ending for us. Ooh. Right, left, right, left. Grab, jump. And you kind of jump back. Slide my feet on the floor a little bit. Like I don't go jump. I just go, I'm going to go up, but I keep my feet and I just scootle back a little bit. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to try that with a little music now. Listen to this one. Okay, we got that in our rhythm a little bit. Hands on your hips, just the foot. Step, hip, hip, and back. Step, hip, hip, and back. All the way. Mm. Hip, hip, mm. hip, and back. One, two. Two more. Hand, grab the doorknob, reach and pull, reach and pull, reach and pull. Don't forget your hips and back. Four more of those. One, three. Back. Back. Last time. Grab an apple. Here we go. Reach up. Reach up and down. Three and down. Four. Stretch up. Feel the length from your arm. Reach up and pull it down. Reach up. Pull it down. Got to remember, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring both arms up. Here we go. Arms up. One and back. Ole. Two. Two arms are working now. Mm, nice. Three, and back, four, and back, other side again, and back, dos, and back, tres, and back, last time, three, and back, grab up, reach up, and down, reach up, and down, reach up, and down. Reach, ole. Number four more, here we go. Ele. Bring the energy up, bring it down. Bring the energy up, bring it down. Last time, we're gonna go side to side. Let's just put our hands on our hips. Two, three, and four. Switch, boom. Dos, tres. E cuatro. Again, one, two, three, and four. Here we go. See, so have a little jump at the end, even. Do, 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 do. Let's add the arm. Pick it up. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. One. 
four and switch last time. Two, three, here's that little break. Clap, buggy, jump, clap, and jump. Oh, hey, very nice, wonderful. How did you feel you did? Let's try it again. We'll go a little faster this time. Remember, you're dancing to dance with the people who danced before you. Reach and two arms out and up, out and up, out and up, out and up. Four more out and up, out and up. Bring it down, put it in your pocket, reach up, bring it down, put it right in there, reach up and down, up and down, four more, reach up, pull it down, make it purposeful. We'll do that break a little slower than we did the last time. Keep going. Here we go. Clap, grab a deep bump, grab, and jump. Awesome. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. Great job. Put your hands on your hips. We'll just do a little bit of footwork just to kind of get our feet warmed up. Just stamping. Like you're trying to kick yourself behind you, but you're not letting your knees pop forward. So you have to sit a little bit, but lift your belly. Don't, don't stand like a duck. Good. And stop. Beautiful. So it's nice and solid. That's called the golpe. That's a solid stamping step. Now, another way that we make sound in flamenco, and I'm talking about this today because when you join next week, for the new video, I'm going to do some different types of footwork, so it's really important to master these ones. The solid stamp, which is the golpe, and then there's a planta and a tacón, which looks like this. Ball of the foot, see my heel stayed up, then I push my heel down. Ball, heel, I'm switching between my feet. Right foot, left foot, turning front. So you gotta have your ball of your foot go down and the heel has to go way up in the air so you have enough time to go and push it down to get a sound. 
That's the second one. The third one we have to do is a thing called a dig. I actually it's left over from my tap dancing days, but it looks like this. It's just the back of my heel, but I don't put it out in front of me. I try to put it right down. So when I drop my toe, I don't really go, I'm not walking forward. Ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel. Awesome. So let's just review those three little steps so that we remember them so that next week when you sign on, and it, it will be the last Flamenco money, Monday for this first series of your, uh, Flamenco classes. So tune in next week after you see this one, and there'll be more steps to go. We have three ways of remembering how to use our feet. We have the stamp, like we're mad, and I'm not bouncing my body around, I'm just using the strength of the push down, push, down, 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 un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, so eight of them. Then we're gonna do ball heel. I'm gonna turn to the side so you see me. Ball, heel, two, heel, three, heel, four, heel, five, six, seven, eight. Now we do the dig drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, last one, eight. So try to practice those a little bit so that they make your feet comfortable to do them. So you don't have to think about them so much in your brain that your body already understands. So I'm telling you, you're hearing me, it's going in here, it's traveling down to the physical aspect, it's connecting your brain and your action, and then after a while you don't have to think, ball, heel, ball, heel, it just becomes second nature is what it's called. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've had a lovely day. I'm really excited to continue on next week. So have a fabulous day. I'm Eve Costarelli. Thank you to the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel and all the amazing people there. Flamenco Mondays, I'm Eve. See you again soon. I'm alwaysbedancing.com. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.